Nitro Gang? Many of you have been asking me for an update on the Primal MT, the big red one-fifth scale gas 50cc monster truck that I paid close to $3,000 for a while ago. It was right after Christmas, I had to throw out a Christmas tree, so I decided why not tow the Christmas tree right behind my Primal MT. You know, this thing is a beast that had no problem doing it, but of course, right after that video, I did have a malfunction, and that's why you haven't seen an appearance of the truck since. I'm sitting here with a part that I will be replacing. More about this later, but for now, take a look at some of these original clips from that video, and you guys will see what exactly happened. I'm throwing the Christmas tree out the window because the Primal MT is gonna take out the trash. All right, partner. Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. We have it tied up to the back of the Primal MT. I'm using this hole already provided for us in this bumper. Of course, there's more ways than one to skin a cat or tie into a Christmas tree. But this is what we got. We got a couple of huge wood screws screwed into the tree itself. You know, and then we have uh, just rope going to the Primal MT. And now, let's get ready to drag this around. Let's start her up, subscribe. Let's see if this is gonna be a first pull startup. Problem. Okay, turn off. We got electronic problem, don't know what it is. You guys just saw that. I'm not sure what happened, but it just literally just shut down on me. I don't know, I went to move the remote here. Everything doesn't turn on anymore. So the battery connection seems fine. I checked the wires, but as I put the power on and off, it's literally nothing. I've already attempted to remove the connection, check all the wiring. Maybe the battery is somehow shorted out. I don't know, but I'm in the field right now. There's really nothing I can do. We did get some epic footage and we did see the Primal MT pretty much crawl up this giant hill over here. Look at the difference in elevation on that. But don't worry guys, I am gonna be fixing this sooner or later and then we're gonna pull something else. I gotta say, that was worth it. Towing that Christmas tree was fun. In fact, if I didn't break that power switch, which I do have one right now, we're gonna take a look at the truck in a little bit, I would have eventually tied up three Christmas trees. And for this year's Christmas, New Year's, whatever holiday you want it to be, I'm gonna collect a whole bunch of trees that people are gonna throw out right after the holidays. I'm gonna tie them up, as many as I can, Probably three, let's be realistic here. Although there is a clip on YouTube of this Primal MT actually towing a full-size Dodge Ram pickup. So three Christmas trees is really nothing. And that
By the way, I recently signed up for Patreon. I'm not really one of those guys that likes to ask for any kind of support. I usually buy a bunch of old used RCs, you know, to work on. This is the associated MGT right here doing some work on this. This is a Nitro Gang special. You're gonna see a lot about this RC later. But guys, if you wanna see me get the modern version of Schumacher, that's right, this is the Schumacher Nitro Menace 21. Pretty much a badass three-speed design RC right here. You guys see that three-speed aluminum chassis, carbon fiber, four-wheel drive, original wheels, flames on the damn Ford body right here. But of course, this is gonna require a lot of work, you know, because the Nitro Gang right here, which is basically me right now, um, we need some Patreon backers. What can I tell you? One of my viewers, Jeremy White and his wife, designed this awesome Nitro Gang shirt. People are asking me to buy the shirt. I'm not into selling merchandise. I'm into repairing old Nitro RCs, but I wanna get into getting newer, better Nitro RCs, you know? So, you know, whenever the support on Patreon reaches a certain level, let me just call it a uh, Kyosho Mad Crusher level, which, yeah, I'm gonna get the Kyosho Mad Crusher. I've already confirmed that, you know, in my own brain. So guys, help me out. You know, give me your support. I just have like one level of donation there and um, I'll put your name in the credits or whatever, I don't care. If you want a mug, I'll like make a mug or whatever. You know, I'm not trying to be making mugs over here. I'm just trying to buy some Nitro RCs. What can I tell you? Anyway, let's get back to working on the Primal MT. Here's an update on the one fifth scale gas Primal MT. In the last video, I had an issue with the power switch. I was trying to fix it, I took it all apart. I did find a couple issues here. One of the issues, you could tell the wire, right? It is crimped, it's cut, so I'm gonna be replacing this power switch, but it isn't that easy. If you think, well, why haven't you done this this entire time? This power switch, if you look at the wiring system here, it's part of an entire wiring harness that goes throughout the entire truck. So it goes all the way there, basically a whole bunch of wiring in there. I don't wanna deal with the wiring harness. It's only about $35 on the Primal MT website. So what I'm gonna do, I ordered myself a replacement power switch. I looked it up. It's basically the same exact spec sizes. It'll fit in the stock configuration. I just have to solder on one of these connectors. It's no big deal. This was like 10 bucks. I think this is gonna be my best option to try to keep this as stock as possible. Now, first I thought I had some kind of radio system for because I couldn't get this thing to turn on. So I was using a multimeter here to literally test for resistance in every single wire. I mean, it turns out that, you know, once I plugged in a different battery pack into here and bypassed the entire wiring harness on off switch, it worked. So the system is good. It's just that replacing the stock on off switch is not that easy. I try to open it up and fix it. There are these little uh, jumpers that should be here. They are missing, I took them out, but that's my fault. This thing is not fixable. So I'm just gonna replace it with that other power switch. I'm gonna solder in a connection. I'll still be using the same battery pack. In fact, I think this is actually better. There it is guys, an update on the biggest, the baddest, the coolest fifth scale gas monster truck you could possibly buy. And uh, sooner or later, I'm gonna be driving over myself and like I promised, I am gonna be towing a car. That's right, but first we gotta get this thing to power on. That's my plan. Just gonna replace the power switch, which, you know, is faulty. No big deal. I haven't had a single issue with the Primal MT so far other than this. Some people say, hey, the engine's not enough. Well, I got a challenge for you. How about you lay down on the ground just like I did right here and I'll drive over you. You tell me then whether you think the stock 50cc motor in this thing is enough. Trust me, if it's enough to drive over you, it's enough.
Guys, did you see that footage? I am in freaking love with this RC. It does everything I want it to do. It attracts crowds, it drives up curbs, it can mow the lawn with a spare tire if you've got one because there's a whole bunch of grass in that tire after I mowed the lawn. I am extremely satisfied. Now in a future video, I will be attempting to tow my car with it. That's right, you heard me say it. I will literally tow my freaking car with this truck in the future. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. It's gonna make me happy. It's gonna motivate me to tow my car and various other things. So stay tuned and thanks so much for watching. Till next time.